My parents and grandparents had a tremendous influence on me, particularly my grandfather. Um, he was a flyer in the First World War and then came to America, and he was a flyer in the Second World War and was a barnstormer in the 20s and 30s. And so, so growing up around aviators was certainly one of the things that, that caused me to consider going to the Air Force Academy, and that changed the course of my life. There are a lot of things that influence you about going to a service academy and that change and shape who you are at a very young age. I think probably one of the strongest is the honor code. Um, we will not lie, steal, or cheat, nor tolerate among us anyone who does. And that, that setting of values and a very firm foundation of values is something that a service academy education does. And, uh, and I'm grateful for it. I think one of the nice things about the Air Force is that it tracks people who desire to do their duty and to serve their country. When I came back to the Air Force from, from, being, a, from being a college president, you, know, you had the opportunity to kind of take a fresh look and say, what are the big challenges right now? And I was really struck by a number of things. The, the first is readiness. We have to restore the readiness of the force uh, in order to be ready for any fight, anytime, anywhere. So uh, readiness is number one. Modernization is the second one. I was struck at how many modernization programs there are going to be in the Air Force over the next five to ten years. We've got to get value for every dollar that's spent because somebody earned that dollar. And the third one is leadership. Both the chief and I believe that the squadron is the basic unit of the Air Force. And if we have great leadership in the squadron um, and a great culture set at the squadron, there's almost nothing he and I can do to screw this up. Um, so the development of leaders uh, at the squadron level has to be a priority. And if we get that right, the culture of the Air Force will be the one that's, that's mission-focused, values-driven, and people-oriented. I didn't anticipate returning to federal service, but I've been called to serve. And I will, uh, I will do my duty and, and, um, and serve the Air Force and that's to try to secure the resources, to fight for the budget, to, to do all of those things that, that, you, that are gotta do's. Um, the wanna do's have to do with getting out in the field and letting people teach me what's working and what's not working and talking to young airmen of all ranks about who they are and where they came from and what they do, uh, why they do it. It's, um, it's, it's the best part of this job.